what's up guys it's aj here from drop frame studio back with another tutorial and today we'll be dealing with claw simulations and logos so let's go ahead and jump straight in so we are in cinema 4d we're gonna go to file merge and find where that file that logo file is and if you haven't, you can watch some of my earlier tutorials to learn how to bring them in in Cinema 4D. The very first thing I'm gonna do is bring in a figure and this helps me with scale. So I'm gonna hit T and just scale that up. And I like my logos to be between the thigh or knee and the feet. So we're gonna delete that. I'm gonna hit Shift C and hit Extrude. And we're gonna type Extrude. All right, I'm gonna pull that into the Z at 20 and we are gonna leave the caps off. Now we're gonna hit NB. And as you can see, if I was to put the cloth simulation on this, this one really worked that well because of the geometry. So we're gonna hit Shift C again and type remesh. Put our extrude into the remesh. And you can either use the polygon count or the mesh density, depending on your logo. Um, for me, I'm gonna put about 450. And let's just switch to the polygon count. And earlier I used 10,000. That looks much better. We're not gonna really worry about the hard edges or funky edges, just a second. But we are gonna type Z. So that's looking good. And normally I would go ahead and do the simulations and different things like that with the editable, but I'm gonna go ahead and connect and delete and type vape. So this is just my logo. And we are gonna now switch to the edge selection mode. I'm gonna type UL. And I'm gonna click the first face. And then this is the back face while holding shift. And I'm just gonna add to some of these. So what I'm doing is creating a seam. So when I actually UV unwrap this, it'll make sense when it's in the 2D layout. And every time I get ready to click, I am holding shift. Cool. We're gonna go to select store selection. Just in case I click off, now we can click off of that. And let me make sure we can go to UV edit and with our logo still selected, we should be able to go to UV unwrap. All right, cool. Hit it again and they will be able to scale it a little bit more to the actual dimensions. And now that we have that, we're going to go to file new texture. Call this vape underscore texture and we're gonna leave that at 2k everything else looks good and now we're gonna go to layer we're gonna go to create UV mesh layer and now we can save this so I'm gonna save this as a PSD vape texture Put tutorial and let's save that. All right, perfect. Let's jump back into our standard. And now that we have that, let's worry about our vertex map. So we are going to go to cloth and then we're going to go to other tags and we're gonna to go to vertex map. So if we just hit play, our logo falls. 
So we need to hit Command D or Control D, go to Simulations, go to Scene, and hit zero in the gravity. So now that we have our vertex map on, we're gonna use fields. And we have our freeze. And if you don't have freeze, you can go into this area right here and just grab a freeze. So we are going to go to grow. And I know I need mine at about 4.5 just to start out. And if you hit play again, nothing's gonna happen. It just begins to animate, move kind of slowly. And that is because we need a spherical field to actually drive that process. So we're going to go to our spherical field. And just move that down. And we're going to keyframe that. We're going to go to about 60 frames and we're going to move that up. And you know, I'm going to add more time. Let's keyframe that. Let me go ahead and add more time so that makes more sense. So yeah. All right, so we have a slow, our vertex map animating on. It's really neat, but it's pretty fast. So we can go back into our vertex map, go to our freeze and put that at about 65. And right above our freeze, we can find a shader. We're gonna drag that right above the freeze. I'm gonna add a noise. And you can, this is for uh, up to your liking or whatever you would wanna do right here. But I'm just trying to add in a noise just to break in that, break up that pattern. might even add a layer and then add another noise. And we're gonna overlay this. That looks good. Now in our shader, we're gonna go down to our blending modes and cl click overlay. And let's play that back, see what it looks like. Yeah, it looks really nice. Much more interesting. And now we can also add a delay. Let's add max. And we're gonna spring and just increase the strength of that. Let's watch that back again. And this is again where you can play with it depending on however you like, however you want to stack it. I think the spring effect may actually sped it up a little bit, but it's still pretty cool. So I'll leave the delay on top. And let's actually click overlay and see what that does. That's looking like it's a lot better. So I might wanna actually increase the strength to about six and decrease this to about 57%. That's looking good. All right, so that's looking good. It takes about three seconds for it to go fully through the animation. And now we can go to our cloth tag, go to mix animation, and we can check with force. Let's increase that strength to 100 and drag in our vertex map. Now you're gonna see that the vertex map, excuse me if I hit NA, 
gets rid of those segments that's because we don't have any forces in our scene so if we bring in a turbulence change the mode increase the strength and just up the scale just a little bit and now we get the animation based on our vertex map so that's looking really nice all right perfect so from here we can go to our cloth tag, our surface, and we can tweak some of these settings to get an adjust them as to how we might like them. This is based on your liking. Uh, so bendiness 45, stretchiness, we're gonna go 40. Uh, friction 0.8, stickiness two, excuse me, two. Balloon, we're gonna check that on, 1.8 over 60 frames and you might even want to increase that but i think about 60 to 80 frames is good for me and then just drop in that vertex map and we can right check we can check stretch influence let's rewatch it look really cool a little violent Overall, pretty cool. All right, so just to take out some of the energy at the beginning, we're gonna hit Command D, Simulation, and in the dampening, we're gonna put that at about 10. And sub steps, we're gonna put that at about 23. Normally, let's put it at 25. I normally work at increments of five. This is where you also can play with it a little bit, add in forces as you might like. Um, I'm gonna add in just a small rotational force and that'll be it in regards to that. And from here, I actually can go ahead and cache the scene. All right, perfect. So now that we have that cache, go ahead and save that out one more time and i know you've been looking at some of these hard edges and different things like that but now i can hit shift c and put this in a subdivision all right perfect so now we have if we change our mode We have the animation looking really nice. And we can uncheck that at any moment to, you know, ease our processing power on our computer. But now we're gonna worry about texturing and lighting. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna wrap here. This is the end of part one. Uh, definitely check out part two to watch the texturing portion of it. Definitely shows how to correct your UVs move when you hit UV unwrap multiple times subscribe to the channel, drop a comment if you have any questions.